doing today but i realized i hit 100 subs on this channel so i was like time to celebrate um i noticed when i was picking the topic a certain theme i've been choosing recently because i did the i'm a computer video a couple minutes before i did this one and um i just started watching serial experiments lane again oh my god awesome anime i recommend um uh if you but trigger warning for those of you who haven't seen it there are like suicide derealization dissociation stuff like that but um this reading is going to be what is your online influence we're going to be using the tarot del Toro, my favorite deck and the first pile is going to be this blue sandstone tower which I think I'm gonna do um, a spell with later using a blue candle. Um, the second pile is gonna be this piece of sulfur that I got at one of those like crystal outlet shops. Not like a crystal shop, but one of the ones where like the crystal shops go to get the crystals. So like there's, where they have all the raw materials there. And then the third pile is gonna be this honey calcite pretty sure looking kind of yummy okay high power one you chose this um blue sandstone it might also be called blue goldstone i forgot but um the fact that this is a tower sh shows me that your online influence stems from your stability and your ability to have like a certain direction consistent direction in life um so basically your on, an online influence um is also going to be very similar to um your stability and the way you find stability in life maybe your influence online you have like maybe a business online or something and that brings you stability like maybe your influence that you have online is something that also brings you stability and doesn't just come from stability um but you use your online influence to bring stability towards you um you possibly get more business opportunities or something or creative opportunities from your influence online um You might be the type of person, this is only for some of you, but you might be the type of person who gets a lot of different offers from a lot of different people. Um, and these are deceptive people with the seven, seven of Swords here. These are deceptive and manipulative people trying to like get in on your, you know, whatever you've got going on that you like put out online. Um, if it's not like, um, if, it's not, if it's not people directly approaching you, um, and trying to control you, there are people behind the scenes, multiple people, like, that you don't even know about, multiple people, who, um, watch, or make, make note of, or keep track of your online influence, um, so that they can use it in some, maybe they're stealing your ideas, maybe they're, like, taking what you do and like creating like a malformed version of it maybe they're um just watching what you do and then going behind the scenes and then saying you're doing the complete opposite or like completely slandering what you're doing and pretending like or like making up lies about it because this is a card of deceptivity and manipulation um so i can't see why these people would be watching you with the manip with manipulation in mind um if they weren't trying to like do something with your online influence to give them an advantage or um, make your own online influence seem bad in some way. So I feel like your on this your relationship to your online self is very significant in your life, um, and you might some of you might even spend a lot of time online just from the nature of um, what the internet provides for you. I'm also seeing that karmic cycles might happen a lot with you from actions people take online whether commenting or following you randomly when they shouldn't be or liking your posts um 
interacting with people online, the stuff the stuff you put out online, how you put it out, your own confidence in yourself, like a lot of your karmic cycle is going to have to do with not only what you put out online, and but also how you perceive others um, on that sphere. The world in reverse. So despite um, there being a sort of symbiotic relationship between you and your digital self, um, and there, there still being a stability coming from there, I sense that you have this sense of like incompleteness or like not feeling fulfilled in some way. Um, and that's sort of what your motivation is to put on. Like maybe you need to change your motivations for your work or whatever you do online because it's right now I'm feeling it's coming from a place of lack and coming from a place of not feeling fulfilled enough and so you are putting out stuff to try and make yourself feel more fulfilled when it should be coming from a place of stability and abundance and fulfillment um so it's like you might have karmic problems in this lifetime with um searching for fulfillment outside of yourself especially online whether that's online relationships um consuming media um or putting out media on your own just like workaholic like doing as much as you can um but still not feeling fulfilled or um feeling like you're not doing enough even though you've been doing quite a lot with the empress here you're still a balanced person like i'm not trying to sit here and say like that you're super unfulfilled and you're always looking outside of yourself for answers. Um, I'm just saying that that's going to be a major karmic cycle and it's going to have a lot to do um, with what you do online. Um, it's just the fact that this is a major karmic cycle you you have to deal with and probably have had to deal with the, these past few lives. It's not even that you're a bad person or anything having to do with this sense of incompleteness. Because with the Empress here, I see that you're very um, empathic, strong, intuitive, stable. Um, but everyone makes mistakes. So I feel like don't judge yourself too hard. You are going to make mistakes on the internet. It's like, um, oh, it's that song by Childish Gambino where he's like, because the internet mistakes are forever, but if we fuck up on this journey, we fuck up together. So it's like the internet's kind of uncharted territory and online, online influence um, only go so far with, with, with what we've learned in the past few decades. So, um, it's okay to make mistakes, you know? Especially when it comes to, like, your own sense of fulfillment, sense of ego, sense of entitlement. Um, because those things are going to be challenged with an online persona. Um, and feeling like maybe some of you feel like you need to be there for others or perform for others. Um even though you may not be directly in a relationship or attached to them. Um, still, I feel like I've only talked about so far your relationship to, you know, the internet and your online self. As for your influence, um, I'm going to go ahead and just say that it, you, you have a very large influence um, and all-encompassing. So for some of you, this is going to be a, ver a, a varying audience, so all around the world. Or for, uh, for others of you, this is just going to be a large audience, you know? But either way, there's, um, there's like this energy of like a lot of people being reached. Um, and this having a significant impact to whatever your on on online influences. Maybe you inspire people. Um, with the seven of swords here, some people might perceive you online as like devilish or trying to like push a sort of manipulative agenda or deceive people in some way. I feel like that's not actually true. I'm feeling like this is coming from a lack of understanding of your skills and your abilities. On the other hand, besides this negativity, I'm feeling like people online perceive you as like the Scorpio energy of like intense, dark, and a little bit otherworldly. Like 
it's it's like you have this weird but very apparent and obvious ability to like manipulate the situation to look a certain way with, with whatever however you put your online influence um um you have this weird ability to make it look like you chose to make things look like way like you you were able to manipulate things the way, but without really putting too much effort into it. Um, it was just sort of a magical ability, um, which is why I feel like some people can end up seeing you as like a deceiver or like of the devil or something like that. Um, but most, for the most part, I'm feeling like a lot of intimidation, a lot of feeling like this is some next level shit. Like this is some, this is something that can't just be explained with words. So whatever you're bringing to the table like on the internet and on social media and whatever you're doing, it's definitely something different than the norm. And if you have a specific like goal in mind or if you have a specific like direction in mind with what you're with, with your ideas and what you're doing, you are going to get there. You are on the path of getting there. Like you are literally doing it. Um, but even though you may not see that, and this is going to be especially very apparent in the future. Because um, for some of you, I feel like there's something specific you're putting out and online to the world and introducing to the world um, that you're specifically trying to do. Um, and this is just confirmation to you, I guess, that that is, you know, you're, you're doing it. That is happening. Um, and people are perceiving this in a way of, like, a little bit overwhelming and a little bit, like, what's going on? Like, it's hard for people to comprehend what you're doing because it's kind of on a next level. It's kind of outside of the box thinking. That's perfect way to explain it. 10-10 ten, ten on the clock when I said that. It's very outside of the box and unusual and out of the norm. So just don't expect a lot of people to understand. Um, honestly, expect a lot of people to be, like, either repulsed or confused or thinking something's wrong with you because... They, they are thinking inside of the box while you are outside of it. Another thing I see necessary to point out here with the world in reverse. You, your online, or your online influence makes people re-examine within themselves what they think they lack. And... On one hand, this comes in the form of people feeling insecure when they see your in online influence or um, something like that. But on the other hand, this is also a form of like karmic healing and or just deep thought, philosophical reevaluation of oneself um, and what in one's own shadow attributes what someone thinks they lack within themselves. It's like your whatever you're putting out there into the internet is very thought provoking and is introducing a new a new sort of conversation um that are getting people to re-examine where in their lives they feel like they lack and they feel like they don't have enough or they aren't fulfilled and this is changing like this is changing some people to heal and to change those parts of themselves that they thought you know weren't good enough or something like that like i really feel like you inspire people pile one to Feel like they're good enough as they are like that magic is real or um that someone should believe in themselves because you're it's like you're sitting there believing in yourself and doing your own thing on the internet and other people are seeing you and they're like i don't know i don't know why i was so scared to believe in myself i want to do this too but i've just been so scared but this person inspires me and makes me feel like i don't have to be afraid of like those darker parts of life or those more like unexplainable parts um a very interesting energy i want to say i don't want to be rude but like your online influence sort of embodies that of like a vortex or a black hole like you kind of have you're kind of bringing a lot of people to you which is probably why you have such a large influence because whatever your goal is whatever your passion is in mind is very important to like it's just very important in general and that's why it's like a black hole bringing so many things to it because it's like your ideas and your passions and your goals are centered in the center of everything you know they're centered they're very centered towards like the center of the spiral i don't know and that's why you're sort of bringing people towards you and your online influence um 
because of just whatever your goals are you're bringing people in because of that you're attracting people the empress here so i feel like this one has to more to do with looks and how people perceive your like the way you look and the way you act on the internet people definitely see you as like this feminine energy but not just any feminine energy like some divine feminine energy the way you speak the sound of your voice the way your hair goes up the way you dress and the way you express yourself um there just seems to be this like natural grace to it this calmness and tranquility and confidence without being over aggressive over expressive confidence in oneself without the need for other people to believe in the same thing um and i keep staring at her angel wings so it feels like a lot of people like seeing you online people seeing you online perceive you as some sort of angel basically like divine being like actually divine like they see you and they're like they don't have any other explanation for what that could mean what that beauty could mean and i know it sounds dramatic for them to actually think you're an angel but i'm serious pal when like they actually see you as like this divine being from god um like they literally think you're an angel like actual angel um but for others of you this could also be a very motherly energy give off and a very caring and empathetic energy of like you make people feel seen and comforted with whatever you put out there you make people feel um just nurtured and safe and familiar in a familiar place um you might remind people a lot of nostalgia and their own childhoods and just inner child wounds there's a lot of healing surrounding just your general look but also the, what you express what you are expressing um and i just keep hearing they're so beautiful they're so beautiful they're so beautiful like people really see you as beautiful they're just watching you kind of entranced like can't look away because it's like it's not every day you see this like angel divine feminine walking the earth you know okay that's your influence though pal three hi pal two you chose this sulfur this is gonna be your reading on your in online influence spirit give me give me um pal two's energy what is pal two's online influence before I pull any cards, I'm just going to say that, like, there's a lot of Taurus energy here. There's a lot of Earth energy. So, whatever your online influence is, it feels very Earth-like, familiar, traditional for some of you. Just very ten toes down. Real. Um... But the nine of cups here or the eight of cups my bad i'm sorry yeah this is definitely real i keep hearing real represents real so maybe you're a representative of some sort um or you're a fan and you like to you know act like a certain person or use profile pictures or um, quotes from a certain person um and that's definitely not a bad thing at all i'm actually seeing that it makes you like you're representing the real the things that you perceive as real and you're just putting putting that back out to the earth so um yeah there's no like negative energy or blockages here you're just letting the flow keep going and you're doing it in your own little unique way like people see you as very like unique and you have this sort of like artistic vibe about you because you're just so creative in the way you express yourself but with the eight of cups here i keep realness realness is a huge theme to your online influence especially when it comes to having to keep it real like 
these things are this way, these things are like the world is fucked up and you know we go through these things but we also have to learn how to let go and to move on to detach. We have to learn how to grow through these situations and learn how to strengthen ourselves in the way where we won't have to be hurt in that same way again. There's just a lot of acknowledgement of the realities of the situation here and but also you know as dark as those realities are we have to keep moving forward we have no choice but to keep moving forward the earth is still spinning at the end of the day and we got to do with it what we can and make it make of it as positive and progressive and real and keep it as real as possible um so i'm definitely feeling like people feel that from you they feel that realness from you and um you're sort of some somebody that people like go back fall back onto you know to remember that realness and remember their roots and where they came from because you never really stray from that like you can get really up in your crown chakra really like creative but at the end of the day you always have that sort of realness with whatever you do and it makes people feel comforted it makes people sort of realign and center themselves when they get too scatterbrained or fragmented I'm also feeling like a lot of people have trouble moving on from you. You get a lot of online stalkers, um, exes, ex-friends, simply because of how hard it is to move on from your energy, um, because you have a very earth-like energy and a very nurtured, like, motherly, fatherly energy, and it makes people addicted to you. Like, it makes people addicted to your stability. And um, especially emotionally, you have a strong capacity for emotional stability and wiseness. Um, you have, whether you've tried to or not, you have inspired others to move on from things they couldn't let go of. You've inspired others to face the realities of their situation and realize that there's nothing they can do but move forward as best as they can. Um, and I feel like this caused a lot of good karma for you because it's, it's a lot of people. It's more people than you realize that you have influenced towards that radical self-healing of deep inner trauma wounds deep 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 and it's not easy to do it's not easy to inspire people to do that especially in the way where you're not even trying hard to inspire people to do that you just do that with your energy so i feel like you get a lot of good karma from that four 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 in the clock when i said that spirit what else is pal to use online influence We have two of swords. Mm, and we have seven of cups. So <laughs> you are perceived as someone who has a lot of options. Um, maybe romantically or maybe friendship wise you just seem like someone who's very abundant and who have, like, you can get any job they want or do any of this any of that um, you might actually be kind of just winging it in real life like you're just doing the best with what you can and it's not always that easy for you um, you actually tend to fall into bad luck more often than not but still people online tend to see you as having a lot of options, having a lot of abilities to choose any path they want to, um, having the stability to choose any path or any person you want. It's like people see you as someone who could get anyone, like you could go after anyone and you would be able to like woo them or whatever, become friends with them. I feel like this also because you just seem like a really like cool person that a lot of people want to hang around i'm hearing like a lot of people see you as an option like a lot of people see you as an option it's just like a friend or a cool person to talk to because they just perceive you as the type of person to be open and honest and not be judgmental about things 
Um, but with the Two of Swords here, I'm getting also this intimidation vibe of people being scared to, like, stand up in front of you. It's It's not like people being scared to, like, speak their minds in front of you. It's more this energy of, like, people with, like, stupid grudges over you, be, like, talking all this shit behind your back, but when they get in front of your face, they can't, they can't say a word, they can't stand up in front of you. I'm also hearing people get scared when you stand up for yourself. Um, maybe you have had to stand up for yourself online before, or on the internet in a way where you had to, like, defend your own values and your own being. Like, you were forced into that, into that position, and it's like, your words and actions in that moment scared people. It genuinely intimidated them and, like, to the point of, like, their egos being triggered and being like, oh, you're so scary, you're, oh, you're so selfish, you're so demonic, you're so, you're all this, all that. Generally, you trigger people on a deep level, whether good, whether in a good way or a bad way. And because the two of swords are here, I'm feeling like it's kind of a double-edged sword or... It's, it's like equal give and take. Like you have equal amounts, people hating on you and dissing your name as you have people who love and support you and um, see you as this such this stable, um, honest person. I'm also feeling like of the people who watch you online, there's a lot of people who feel like they can't reach your level. I, like, I keep hearing in my head, I can't reach their level, I can't reach their level, I could never reach their level. Um, so it's like people watch you and they think you're on a, you're superior to them. Like, you, they, they perceive you as being um, on the next level than them because that's just how they see you, I don't know. And some people are bitter about this and being like, why does Pile 2 think they can be superior to me? And other people are like, damn, Pile 2 has got it. I want to be more like Pile 2. You know? Um, so as for like people on your page and stuff, people on your, you know, stuff, you might get equal parts like haters as you do like supporters, you know? Um... And I'm feeling that this just comes from the natural balance of your earth-like stability stuff, like yin-yang energy of like, if you're going to be that perfect earth energy of realness, you're going to get that perfect dark and like balance of audience. Overall, your ability to keep it real helps people move on from stupid shit and stop being immature. It also helps people who have had deep inner wounds that they've struggled with for a long time be able to face those things when, they, when they've when they had such bad luck with it before. It's like something about the way you um, face those things changes people's perspectives and makes them think they don't have to put so much effort, try so hard to change themselves in a certain way. Um, but it, it, like it doesn't have to be that hard to move on and to heal and to do stuff like that. It can actually be very easy and quite fun. Um, yeah, it's like some people complicate the process of, you know, moving on or grieving or feeling pain, and you help simplify that process. Um, Your kind of your energy sort of picks out all of the unnecessary stuff and keeps it right as it needs, keeps everything right as it needs to be. Which is probably why you get so many haters who are like, who do you think you are? What do you think you're doing? Like, you're just keeping it real. And these people who want to add their own little bullshit into the agenda are mad. They're mad about it. Like, no, it can't be this way. It has to be this way. Nobody fucking cares. Also, I'm seeing people see you as unapproachable. It's like you you have this certain mystique about your online persona that people can't really find out a lot about you. Um, so they sit there guessing. Um, but at like, the back of their mind, they know, like, I could never, like, find out these actual facts. I could never, like, get close enough to even know um, how to like that. Um, it's like you just have this, like, shield of protection around you. This, like, mental shield of protection around you in the internet world. Maybe even 
from your angels that are protecting you in that way. Um, yeah, I feel like this is just to protect the sort of realness that you keep intact um, in the world. But at the same time, it's like your realness is what brings about this protection because by keeping that simplicity within yourself, you protect yourself. And by not being all caught up in the bullshit, you stay you stay away from the bullshit and the bullshit can't get close to you. Um, so it's just a part of your personality. It's just who you are, being this real person and bringing this realness to the table. Yeah, for some of you, you might be really popular or something. Because I keep seeing this and, like, seeing all these people being like, Oh, Pile 2. Pile 2, what's up, Pile 2? <laughs> like, watching you online being like, Damn, Pile 2 just posted a new update. Like, chill. <laughs> but yeah, you do generally have a lot of people having crushes on you or, like, just respecting you very deeply. Um... And if you have some sort of creative influence online, like you put creative stuff out there, I'm hearing it all comes full circle. Like whatever quotes you use, whatever like art you use, three, three, three on the clock when I said that, music or whatever, it just fits perfectly with your vibe and fits perfectly with the situation or whatever. I don't know. It's like you don't even have to try hard to be this perfectly real person. You just are. Um, and it confounds people. It genuinely, like, they sit there like, damn, how can Pile 2 be so fucking awesome? I don't know. I don't know, bro. But that is your reading, Pile 2. Okay, Pile 3, it's time for your reading. You chose this honey cow site. This is going to be about your in online influence. We have, we have Ballet of Blades. We have the World Upright. And we have the Queen of Blades. So I'm definitely sensing that most of you do not tr try hard to put, to, to, to influence or make your online influence a specific way. It just, maybe you never even like, deliberately made an account and like started putting stuff online i'm feeling like you were just being you and like stuff started putting stuff started getting put online about you but that's only for some of you um but yeah mo like for the most part you guys just like don't even put much effort into your online persona at all still this has like the opposite effect of like having the most influence out of all the three piles um yeah this pile's influence is definitely on par with pile one of having just a large encompassing influence um but it's interesting because this pile isn't even trying to make that happen with the world here i feel like you've already have this fulfillment within yourself or you have like just something about you that brings abundance like that um and maybe that's what started getting put out online. Um, it could be the way you look, it could be your job, creative projects, it could be anything really. But it's like from the get-go, people perceived you as fulfilled, as, as someone who has a, a strong influence, um, whether online or not. Mm. your thoughts like your ideas and your beliefs are very important to your online influence because the things that you believe and that you think day to day get put out there whether you know that or not um, or they get expressed through your online persona whether you're trying to do that or not and 
you have that type of audience power through you that people really listen to you. Like whatever you say, people people hang on to every little word, every little expression because it just seems so important, but people don't really know why. People can't explain why. Um, and you probably can't even explain why yourself. Um, it's just something about you. Um, I feel like your home life has a lot to do with your online influence. Maybe you talk about your home life or maybe you like are expressing maybe your sense of self-love and loving yourself was something you had to particularly try and grow into because of the home life you had made it not easy for you. Um, but the self-love that you did end up achieving ended up having a crazy drastic drastically large influence on the world um like not just a few people like I, i'm hearing the world like you've changed the world with whatever your online influence has already um it's not like pile one where their goals are in mind and they're going towards that you've already changed the world with your influence of your spirit or whatever hmm Yeah, whatever your ideas are, however you express yourself is really interesting. It just makes you seem like a very, like, smart, wise, like, more than wise. Like, it's like when you go to, it's like the energy of a city man who totally believes in everything logical and scientific, scientific, um, and he goes to every doctor because he because he's ill, but all of these regular scientific doctors can't find a treatment. They just have nothing, and so they send him on his way. And so this, like, crazy scientific logical man finally is so desperate that he goes to find a medicine man. Um, and it, like, works. And this, like, completely logical scientific person is so, their mind is so blown that, like, all of those doctors I tried, all of the science and logic, and what ended up saving me was this stupid mystical bullshit it's like people see you that way where it's like it's just stupid mystical bullshit but it's like it actually works it actually works though <laughs> and people are like damn it's such a mind fuck <laughs> i don't know like some people are sort of like worshipful and being like you are a mystic being but other people are like super hyper logical but at the same time having to begrudgingly acknowledge um the sort of truth behind your influence or whatever you're putting out there. Yeah, you have definitely planted seeds in the world that are going to last long after you're gone. Um, so maybe like re-examine <laughs> your past and what you have, what your online influence has already done. Um, because you need to realize those things that you've already done those are the seeds you've planted so far. Um, and they have a very strong influence. They really do. And they are going to continue influencing people long after you're gone. So just keep that in mind. If there's things about your past that you've put out that you don't like, change that going forward. Or if there's stuff that you have wanted to do but haven't done yet, done yet do it. <laughs> do it. Because those seeds, you can genuinely... Whatever you plant is going to become fruitful. Um, because you just have that influence where people are going to be paying attention to you. Um, especially since others perceive your online persona as being fulfilled, as having this fulfillment and having this inner secret knowledge and abundance. Um, that's why you might have so many fans or followers or such. Um, you might have, you have so many of these followers being like, oh, you're a mystic being. Oh, I worship you just because they see that fulfillment within you and they see that beauty and they're just like, God damn, God damn. Yeah. This is so funny. I don't know why I just heard that. For some of you, you might try to express yourself in a super masculine way with your online persona, but maybe you're not even trying super hard but you think you're being all masculine but everyone else be perceiving you as having this 
powerful feminine energy like high priestess feminine energy because it's the it's the valley of bay is the queen of blades so it's like this like androgynous sort of like male female like balance but also like that the dark side of femininity and the the just inner knowing of the unknown worlds of femininity like people perceive you as really mystical you know Um, even though maybe you are the type of person that has, like, a traditionally masculine look or a traditionally more, like, logical, um, maybe you're someone who's, like, very well-spoken well and intelligent in conversations, very clear-minded. So it just surprises people that you have this sense of, like, mystical femininity towards your expressions. I'm having, like, this specifically has to do with your um, way of emotional expression. Like, logically, you are a pretty masculine person. Um, but when you express yourself emotionally, you get into the nitty-gritty. So it just feels more feminine because you're not afraid of it. And it just happens naturally in a way. Um, for some of you, you might also have resonated with Pile 1 just because at the end of Pile 1, I accidentally said Pile 3. <laughs> but the Queen of Blades makes me feel like you are the monarch of your kingdom. You are the reign. You reign in your kingdom. Um, whatever your online influence is, is your kingdom. And you reign. That's why I'm saying these seeds that you plant are so, are all going to be so fruitful because people listen to you. Your fans and your audience listen to you and watch what you do as one would a king or a queen. Um, they listen to you. Um, for some of you, this is more drastic than others. Like, people go really far. Um, but for others of you, and then for others of you, people are just, like, listening to what you say and keeping it in the back of their mind. Um, but either way, your actions stick with people because they really trust and admire you and your perspective because you have this, like, fulfillment and this mysticalness and what and all this that you have people just get this inner sense that they should trust you that they should listen to you that you have something important to say um so yeah there's just this general sense of respect i'm feeling from people watching you online of like this is someone i need to be respecting this is like would you act this way around your queen would you act this way around your king no so people perceive you as someone to be respected and treated with manners or perceived in a respectful way. Um, there's a lot of your audience who's going to be spreading your word and um, yeah, just taking your online influence and making something creative out of that and spreading it even more because you inspire people with whatever your ideas are, with whatever you've put out before. Even if um, you've ended up having regrets or feeling a little bit embarrassed about things you've put out, you've still significantly changed people in a way that I don't think you realize, Pile 3. Like, I don't realize how, I don't think you realize how important you are. I don't know. It's really, you kind of underestimate yourself a little bit, but it's like you're a really cool person, and a lot of people see you that way too. You might, you, you might as well just be like, eh, whatever. Like, you you aren't really concerned about that. Let's see, what else, what else? One last thing. Your online influence will change the status quo. It's a lot like Pile 1 in that um, you are meant to be changing things and it's outside of the box kind of thinking. Um, but for, for you, Pile 3, I feel like you are coming from a place where you're helping the people inside of the box to get outside of the box instead of just being outside of the box and, you know, not caring whether or not people get it. Um, you sort of take it in a way where you're going from inside the box to outside the box and sort of doing this loop so people can understand the full circle um whether each side that they are on 
Um, And yeah, this is just, it's just going to be very important. It's going to be very long lasting and it's, it's significantly changing. Like in the same way that power one is significantly changing the world, like this is going to significantly change the world, how it behaves towards itself, how society behaves towards itself. Like you are changing the, what is considered normal, what is considered the norm and okay. Um, and I feel like this is specifically to do with deep, um, deep complex concepts um that you are wanting to change especially towards a more progressive and clear-minded you, you want things to be more progressive and clear-minded which is why you are able to go from inside the box and help those people inside the box think outside of the box um because it is important to you to change things that if you are going to be changing things so widely that you do it in a progressive way that you're doing it in a way of progression and healing, which is probably why you've done so much um, healing within yourself so that you can help other people. But that is your read, pal three.